It's a known fact that LeBron James is one of the greatest talents basketball has ever seen. When the common debate of GOAT, short for greatest of all time, comes up, some, including James himself, proclaim it is he who holds the title over legends such as Michael Jordan. That's a very big call if you ask me. Some would argue a monstrous ego too. But James has managed to say exactly that. G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Basketball Action. First up, does LeBron James need a super team to win a ring? What time is it? LeBron James has three championship rings to his name. Worth mentioning is the fact that they were all won with superstar teammates such as Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, to Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. The list is pretty extensive. That fact, however, didn't stop LeBron from claiming a few years ago that super teams didn't exist and that he had never played for one. The Los Angeles Lakers and Milwaukee Bucks are two of the favorites to win the NBA title this year. One of the reasons is the star men leading each of the teams, LeBron James and Giannis Antetokounmpo. If they do meet in the finals, a lot will depend on the players supporting the stars. Former NBA player and current analyst Jalen Rose felt Los Angeles Lakers have a strong unit supporting LeBron James. He had the following to say. For anybody that thinks that the Bucks supporting cast is better than the Lakers supporting cast, they gotta pay close attention to Anthony Davis. The guy is leading the Lakers in points and rebounds. He said talking on ESPN's Get Up. If you think that the Lakers will not be a playoff team without LeBron James, that's really saying what you feel about Anthony Davis. He also added, the second best player on the Bucks is Chris Middleton. I can't act like if you remove LeBron and if you remove Giannis, then the Lakers still won't be better than the Bucks. They will be. They have a perennial All-NBA player playing alongside LeBron. Each time LeBron has won a championship, he's been on a super team. Needless to say, LeBron James is playing with yet another superstar, and he has yet to prove he can go all the way without one. Regardless how you feel about James or his history of super teams, you can't use it to take anything away from Davis. He's a superstar in his own right. At this point, I think James may need him more than he needs James. Courtside Gossip Bol Bol, the son of late former NBA center Manute Bol, had 16 points, 10 rebounds and 6 blocks in 32 minutes of scrimmage against Washington at the bubble in Orlando. By the way guys, for future reference, I hate spoilers, so I won't be giving any final scores on this channel. So Bol Bol played such a good game that the NBA gifted him with the unpleasantness of a drug test afterwards. The Denver Post's Mike Singer said, Bol Bol was scheduled for a random drug test after this game, per Nuggets PR. Isn't it funny how random drug tests always seem to happen after a big game? In more Laker news, the team is trying to win a championship this year to honor the late Kobe Bryant. The traditions are already being put in place. According to Taylor Rooks of Bleacher Report, the Lakers end their pre-practice huddle chanting, one, two, three, Mamba! More on the Lakers? Reports have emerged that during a practice session recently, Anthony Davis was recorded saying, Purple for life. Some are using this as an indication that AD will stick with the Lakers as his contract expires at the end of the season. The legend, Michael Jordan, has had another win, this time with his Jordan brand. It was informed that all 30 teams in the NBA will sport the Jumpman logo in their Statement Edition jersey from the next season. More specifically, the Jumpman logo will be on the right side of the jersey and left side of the shorts which the players will be wearing next season. That's a huge victory for Jordan and the brand, and I bet he can't wait to see the Pistons wearing it. During the quarantine, stars such as Westbrook and LBJ posted their intense workouts on their Instagram accounts. Giannis, however, kept a low profile, leading many to believe he is chilling, so to speak. It turns out, this was a psychological game Giannis was playing. Speaking in a recent press conference, he had the following to say, Anybody who thought I didn't have access to a gym, they don't even know me. I just said that trying to get a little bit ahead of the competition, Giannis revealed, with a cheeky smile on his face. And finally, in Suns news, Aaron Baines has not been seen in social media videos from the bubble as he tested positive for COVID-19 and remains in Phoenix. On the contrary, Ricky Rubio has practiced with the Phoenix Suns for the first time after testing positive for COVID-19. It's unclear when he was diagnosed. Do you think LBJ can win a ring without a super team? Share your opinion with us in the comments below, along with any feedback you might have. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out the others for the latest news from around the league. Thanks for watching, guys.